and then I, they noticed that I had a cavity, so I went to the dentist, and then they had to block this side of my mouth. I couldn't drink anything, so it actually happened yesterday. Oh! And then I, after that, I, my mom told me to start brushing my teeth, and I did before I even came here. Very good. Well, guess what? Your problem is over because the doctor is in house. Can you say the doctor is in? The doctor is here. Yes, yes, with great joy, with great pleasure, we're gonna introduce you to a new doctor who was just like you right here in that same little room right now. Now she's a big adult and now she become a dentist. And then guess what? She choose to help you to brush your teeth. I probably her first time. Let's introduce Sister Dr. Colleen. Come on, let's go. All right, come on. All right, listen. I had to embarrass her a little bit, okay? Because she was, let me see. Let me look for somebody age. Come. Right there. And I used to say, if you do good grade, I'm going to give each one of you a dollar. I said, if you do good grade at school, right? I had to drop that thing. Because she said, Dr. Colin used to make A on everything. So I had to drop it. I said, this girl is going to wound me. I would not have any more money. But it was great. But look at her now, right? I feel old a little bit, but yes, that's all right. All right. <laughs> that's okay. So let's give her a big hand. And guess whose sister is she? You don't know? Well, you're gonna see very soon. Sister Ve, come, Dr. Ve, come, 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 come. That's the you see she looks alike. Right, guys? Say hi, Dr. Ve. You got you can talk to the little kids. Okay? Good morning. Or good afternoon, everybody. How are you guys doing? Good. 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 It's good to hear. Uh, Mama Ashley is absolutely right. I was right where you guys were. I actually have a picture that I brought to show you guys. And I was <laughs> the same age as you guys performing in the church. And here's Sister Ashley. I was right there in the back. I was right there, just like all of you guys. I was right in your spot learning. I grew up right here in this church. This is where I first learned about Jesus and how I gave my life to him. Uh, Noisy is absolutely right. I made sure I got really good grades, got a lot oh, yes. of dollars. Really good grades. All the dollars that I could. And now I became a dentist. So uh, I'm a dentist. That means I take care of your knees, right? Wait, 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 what? No, that's not that's not what I do. Uh, yeah, I like to take care of is you. it is it elbow? Am I the elbow doctor? Do I wait, take care of elbows? Like, like, no. Yes. Thank you so much. Sometimes I forget. Yes, I take care of your teeth. And I loved hearing you guys' stories about how you were brushing your teeth. Especially you, you went to the dentist yesterday. That's amazing. How was that? A little painful. Yeah, I couldn't <laughs> drink. If I drank like milk or water, it would just happen to spit out because this side is pushing all the liquid that's in my mouth and it comes over here. <laughs> well, how are you feeling today? Are you feeling a little better? Is it it's, not as painful? It's not painful at all. Awesome. My mom, I kept on crying after I came out of the dentist. Aww. And it did, didn't it? Yeah. Awesome, awesome. That's good to hear. So I am here to help you guys learn just a little bit about taking care of your teeth so that it can be nice, healthy, strong, and last you for a really, really long time. You guys know in your lifetime you only get two sets of teeth, right? Just two sets. What is the first set of teeth baby. called? Baby. Baby. Good job, baby teeth. Baby. This is a follow-up question. Good job. Anybody knows how many baby teeth you get? Yeah. Anyone can guess. Um, I don't think. I'll take yours. 38? Oh, close. Close. I'll take yours. Oh, no. You're going in the wrong direction. Down, down. 36? No. I will tell you guys. You get 20 baby teeth. 
20. You were going to say that? 20 baby teeth. And then they start to come out. God in all his glory realized that our mouths are growing just like our bodies are growing. So we need more space. We need bigger teeth so that we can chew bigger foods. So then he gives us a second set of teeth. What is the second set of teeth called? Adult teeth or permanent teeth. And how many adult teeth do we have? Oh, that's 32. 32! Good job! That's exactly right. We get 32 teeth as an adult. And that is the last set that we get, guys. So it's really important that we take care of our teeth. Or else, we're not going to have them. And we want to take care of our bodies really well because they, our bodies are a gift from God. From God. From God. And our mouth is included in that. So we want to make sure we're taking care of the gift that God gave us. Right? So uh, why do we need teeth anyway? What do teeth do? Teeth help us. Teeth help us eat well and you know buy things. Right. Like stop meat. It help us. True. That's right. Go ahead. Talk. It helps us to talk. Very good. It does help us to talk. It would be really really hard to talk without teeth, and sometimes we don't think about that. Right. Very good. Very very good. So I want you all guys to try to say 33 without having your tongue touch your teeth. are very very important for talking for chewing and biting and they're also important for having a beautiful smile right what's another thing that's important for us to do for our teeth eat vegetables I'm so happy you said that right now we're gonna start talking about why it's important to have nutritious foods because we want to stay away from sugar and candies and lollipops and things like that which is Ernie's Baba, can we say hi to Baba? Hi, Baba. Baba. Turn around, they say hi to you. <laughs> we eat vegetables, right? So that our teeth are nice and strong. And now we're actually going to talk about what foods are good for your teeth Logan. and what foods are bad. So Baba is passing out some food items to you guys. I want you to take a look at them, read them. If anyone needs help reading theirs, you let me know. I'll be more than happy to help you, or Baba will as well. And then we're going to, one by one, come up and put them where they belong. If they are good for your teeth, we're going to put them right here on the green board. If they are bad for your teeth, we're going to put them on the red board. Okay. All right, take a good look. And decide, is it good for your teeth or is it bad for your teeth? All right. You want to start one by one, right? Okay, come on. Um, come on. Um, Miali. Miali. We start from the back, okay? Miali. What about this one? So I'm going to call out the food. You guys say yes or no, okay? Apples. Yes. yes. Grapes. Yes. Broccoli. Yes. Cheese. Yes. Milk. Yes. Salad. Yes. Celery. Yes. Strawberry. Yes. Watermelon. Yes. Carrots. Yes. Water. Yes. Ice. Yes. Frozen water, right? And water is up here, so water is good for your teeth. 
But ice is not good for your teeth. If you're eating ice and you're crushing on ice, you could damage your teeth. All right now. Right? So we make sure we're not biting ice when we're drinking our juices, right? Or our water. We want to kind of stay away from ice if we can. Okay? Good job. <laughs> so now we're going to move on to the foods that are not so good for your teeth. Foods that are bad for your teeth. All right? So we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to call out the food. You guys say yes or no, okay? We'll start down here. Cookies? No. no. Soda? No. Potato chips? No. Gummy bears? No. Coffee? No. Sweet juices? No. no. Cake? No. Sugary cereals? No. Yogurt? Yes. yes. Yogurt is good for your yes. teeth. Yeah. Right? So yogurt's have some protein. You say yes. You say yes. yes. I for that. Very good. Very, very good, Rob. Yogurt is good for your teeth. It's good for your entire body. It keeps you nice and healthy. Has lots of vitamins, uh, probiotics in there to keep you nice and healthy, keep your teeth strong. Ice cream? No. no. And chocolate? No. no. Good job. I got my good job. You got my good job. Oh my God. Beautiful job. Beautiful. Since you all know what foods you should and should not be eating, that means that's what you guys are doing at home, right? Yes. yes. Right? Right. Yes. We're not yeah, drinking sodas and eating sugary cereals all day, right? I will tell you the truth. Not Right, not too much. Sometimes we can't avoid it. Sometimes we can't avoid it. So, Dr. Collins, who say not too much? All right, all these groups say not too much. They they being truthful. Right, right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate your honesty because it's hard sometimes to only eat healthy, right? No one eats salads all day long and only drinks water, right? No one does that. It's it's really hard to do, even as an adult. So I can imagine as a kid. Yeah. Right. That's actually the next thing that we're gonna talk about. Uh, good job. So even if we're eating healthy, right? We already know that eating candy and cookies and cakes and things like that aren't that great for our teeth, right? But we're talking about eating healthy now. Even when you eat healthy, you still have to brush your teeth. You still have to take care of your teeth so that you don't get cavities. Anybody know that word? No. Oh, somebody's had cavities. <laughs> I know you know. Yes. Crystal goes fast <laughs> Yeah, so we don't want to get cavities. So cavities are not They kind of break our teeth down, and we don't want that, right? And if we're spending days not brushing, the sugar bugs get stronger and stronger, and they're breaking our teeth down. Yes, go ahead. Oh, when you don't brush your teeth, there might be holes in your teeth. Absolutely. Good job. And that's exactly what cavity is. So the sugar bugs get stronger and stronger, breaking your teeth down until they put little holes in your teeth. We don't want holes in our teeth, right? If we have nice, strong, beautiful teeth that God blessed us with, and we put a bunch of holes in it, what happens? It's not as strong anymore, right? And we don't want that. That means we're not taking care of the body that God gave us. And that's really, really important. Go ahead. Especially when you go to sleep without brushing your teeth, and then tomorrow you wake up the next day, all those nasty germs in your mouth. And if you go talk to somebody when you just wake up, and then the person will be like, ew, your mouth smells disgusting. Exactly. That's one of the other really, really bad things that happens, right? Not only do we get cavities, but our breath doesn't smell that good. And we don't want to be talking to our friends, our parents, our teachers, and our breath doesn't really smell that good, right? We don't want that. So we want to make sure we're brushing every single day. How many times are we brushing a day? Uh, Two times a day, and those two times a day, when? When does it happen? Both morning in the afternoon, night. morning and night. Good job. We wake up in the morning, we brush our teeth. Before we go to sleep, we brush our teeth again. Does anybody in here floss? Me. Yeah, you guys floss? Yeah. Okay, okay. We got a few. Yeah, we got a few, so it's pretty good. How many times a day do you floss? Three times a day? Wow. Five times, three times. You guys are better. Um, cells that digest your food, but in case you need your food, they, they think you should digest it in your food, in your teeth? Not exactly. So the way that it works is 
you eat foods, right? Um, even some healthy foods, like for example, some breads and grains have sugar, right? The uh, enzymes in your mouth, they'll break down the food into the sugar, the sugar will remain on your teeth, and the bacteria or the germs, the germs, some bad germs that are already in your mouth are going to react with the germs, um, with the, the sugar, and then it's gonna create acid. The acid is what breaks down your tooth. So it's not necessarily the sugar bugs, it's the acid that's created from the sugar bugs interacting with the sugar. Okay, Dr. Kali, even me, this little kid, is killing me with some big questions. Yes. <laughs> sugar bug. Anybody knows what is sugar bug? <laughs> actually, it seems like Dr. Kali and him only sugar bug. Can you explain to them what is this? Yes. Even for our friend on Facebook? Just yes. quick. So, sugar We're going to hold the question for a little while. Hold on, listen to Dr. Cardi. Uh, so sugar bugs are basically germs that feed on the sugar from the foods that you digest. That's basically what they are. They feed on that sugar, and then um, after a while, if you haven't brushed your teeth in a while, if you haven't flossed your teeth in a while, they kind of attack your teeth a little bit, and they start to create those holes, those cavities that we were talking about. Oh, okay. All right, wait a minute. Let's stop the calling finish and then you can ask questions, okay? okay? All right. So we talked about what teeth do, what we need them for. We talked about uh, healthy foods that we should eat. We talked about uh, bad foods that we should probably stay away from. Now we're going to talk about how we should brush our teeth properly. All right? So. from the inside. It's kind of hard to see because uh, it's hard for us to open this wide, but this is how it looks. Look Look right? So when we brush our teeth, we're going to put the brush right, let's start with it closed. We'll put the, the brush right at the base, right where your gums start, and then we're going to brush downwards. And we're going to do that everywhere. From the back to the front, we're doing the sides, we're going to do the same thing on the bottom, brushing from the bottom, going up, and we're going to open, and we're going to do all across the tops. I bet you guys do this part really well. All across the tops. Right? So we've already done this side, we've done the top side, now we need to do the inside. So we're doing the same thing right at the gums, and we're brushing down, we're brushing out. We do that all the way around. Right? Now, uh, I need a volunteer to show me how they brush. Come on up. Yeah. Come on up. Yeah. I'll give you the bigger one because this one is a little small. Before you start, let me put on your toothpaste. Oh, right here. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Logan is showing how he wash. And Dr. Okay. Colin gonna tell us if that's the right way. Okay, you're going all across the tops like we talked about. Great job. All across the tops, getting the bottom teeth. Really good job, Logan. Just one thing, remember, you're brushing the sides, right? Don't forget to brush the sides, not just the top here. Right on the sides and you're sweeping up everywhere. You're sweeping up, okay? Don't forget to brush your tongue. That part is really, really important and it's important to make sure you brush along your gums as well. volunteer so that she can shoot on that little special tablet we were talking about before that helps us see where the sugar bugs are on your teeth where that plaque is so that we can know where to kind of focus our brushing all right so the way that it works is you chew on the tap it's called a plaque disclosing tablet and you chew it you spit it out you rinse your mouth a little bit and uh, some of the staining some of that color is going to stick to the plaque and it's going to show us where we should brush all right 
So Alicia is going to take her mask down. Take your mask Show mask down. down. There you go. Okay. And give us a nice, big, beautiful smile. Oh, gorgeous. Oh. Beautiful, beautiful smile. So you see her teeth are a little pink, right? It's just going to show us just some areas of the darker pink where she should focus on her brushing just a little bit more. She's doing a great job. Just needs to focus a little bit more. So after this, she's going to brush her teeth in the bathroom exactly where the pink is showing. And after that, if she gets all the pink out, her teeth will be perfect, beautiful, white, clean smile. All right. Ah, listen. That's pretty cool, right? That's and a special we, tablet. Let's give Alicia a hand. Alright. Oh, very good, Alicia. You're going to have a brush. You're going to brush your teeth. And your teeth going to be so clean. So clean. Okay? Alright. All right. She can go back? Alright places that you've been missing, you know for the future where you should focus, right? You don't have to do it every day. Very good. She Great had a question, uh, uh, that's Kavi That is. You wanna ask your question? question? Stand up, Sarah, and ask the doctor your question. Do you have a doing with your teeth? That is a very, very, very good question. She asked, when you have a cavity, does it hurt your teeth? Well, that depends. When a cavity is first starting out, it doesn't really hurt all that much. You don't even notice that it's happening. This is why sometimes you go to the dentist and they tell you you have a cavity and you're like, what? I had no idea. I didn't know I had a cavity. Nothing was wrong, right? Sometimes that happens. You don't even know that you have a cavity because it doesn't hurt you. That's when it first starts out. If you keep ignoring it, if you don't go to your dentist, if you're not doing a really great job brushing your teeth and flossing your teeth, it gets worse. The holes in your teeth get bigger and bigger and bigger until they do start to hurt. So yes, Sarah, sometimes cavities do hurt. Uh, it depends how long um, you've kind of just like let it stay in there. Uh, if you're not brushing your teeth for a while, over time it can start to hurt. Good question. Go ahead, Deborah. Does sparkling water hurt your teeth? Sparkling water doesn't hurt your teeth um, per se. If you're drinking acidic juices, beverages, sodas over time, it can hurt your teeth. Right then and there, it doesn't, but if you're constantly drinking um, sparkling waters, um, citrus, uh, sodas, it can hurt your teeth over time. Great question, really good question. Okay, go ahead. Um, is chocolate bad for your teeth because like, when you like, eat it a lot, it can like, hurt like, right here, if you eat it a lot, it can hurt your teeth? Uh, chocolate is bad for your teeth because of what we were talking about before with the sugar. Um, if you're constantly eating sugar, you know um, chocolate does have some sugar, uh, a lot of sugar, um, and we leave it in our teeth. So that's that's more so the problem. If we kind of leave it in our in our mouths without brushing really well or flossing really well, then over time those sugar breaks, like we said, can kind of start attacking your teeth with some acid, breaking down your teeth, putting the holes in there. So that's why. I have yeah. When your teeth pushes up, does that mean I need braces? When your, I'm sorry. If your teeth pushes up? Like if it pushes down, do you need braces? That depends. You'll actually have to go to a special dentist called an orthodontist. They'll take a look at how you're biting, how you're chewing, and then they'll decide whether or not you need braces. Any other questions? Ooh, they have so what if you forget to brush your teeth? Mm -hmm. What if you forget to brush your teeth and you get a cavity and you don't notice it until you go to a dentist? Right. Well, that happens all the time. And that's why we're here. Um, that's why dentists exist, so that we can help you take care of your teeth. We know sometimes you forget to brush your teeth. Sometimes maybe you are brushing your teeth, but there's a certain spot that you can't really get to because it's all the way in the back, so you end up developing a cavity. So that's why we're here to help. You come, we'll take a picture of your teeth. Called, does anybody know what the picture of your teeth that we take is called? Pink oh, no. no. X-ray? It is an x-ray. Good job. It is an x-ray. Uh, so very we take, good, Kevin. That's really good job. Let's give Kevin a hand. All right. They bombarded Dr. Colleen with questions. Oh, you yes. guys are so wonderful. Yeah. Uh, yes. More? Okay, go ahead. Um, when when you have a when you have like a, when you have braces, mm -hmm. does it also help with your um, cavities, or does it just um, prevent your um, teeth to like you know become more strengthened? Yes, that's actually what it does. So um, braces are there to straighten your teeth. They don't really help in terms of stopping your cavities from happening. 
As a matter of fact, it's a little easier to get cavities when you have braces. So it's really, really important to take care of your teeth when you have braces. Okay. When you have a gap in your teeth and you have braces, there's like a rubber band that you have to put on your teeth to help you with that? Sometimes. It, it depends. Everyone is different. Um, but yes, um, there are situations, people that need rubber bands. I needed rubber bands and I didn't even have a gap. But I needed rubber bands, so everyone is different. But a lot of times rubber bands are used, yes. All right, we only have one last question because oh. we are um, does, the, does the immune system do these bad germ cavities? Like, does it interfere? Because I heard that immune systems go around the body looking for them. That's absolutely correct. So um, you, so you developing a cavity is actually a response via your immune system, um, basically trying to fight off the germs uh, your teeth kind of end up losing that battle, so to speak, and that's how you end up with a cavity. Same thing goes when um, someone was asking about bleeding and flossing earlier, the same exact thing happens. You're having basically an infection in your gums that your immune system is trying to fight off, and uh, it's a losing battle. That's why you're having inflammation and bleeding when you're flossing. And that's very pushing your teeth and flossing and keeping your breath nice and fresh. So for each and every single one of you, we have a little goodie bag that comes Yay! Right, you have a brand new toothbrush. You do. I'm sure you do have a toothbrush right now, but you do have to switch out your toothbrush when it starts to get a little old. It doesn't work as well. You can't always use the same one, so you have to get a new one. Every three months, right? Every three months, make sure you're switching out your toothbrush. Okay, we have some mouthwash to keep your breath nice and fresh. We have that disclosing tablet, that little special tablet I was talking about. Everyone has one in there. You'll go home tomorrow, next week, whenever. You'll chew it up, spit it out, rinse your mouth, and then take a look. Make sure you're paying attention exactly where it's staining, exactly where it's red or, uh, or pink. pink. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then you brush those areas to make sure you're getting all of the sugar bugs out. Of course, we have toothpaste in there for you. Does anybody know how much toothpaste to use when you're brushing your teeth? A little bit. Very little. A pea-sized amount. So you don't need to cover the entire brush with it. A pea-sized amount is more than enough. And then we have... That's a big package. Very nice. Yes. For a while. And then we have just a little box. Does anybody know what this box is used for? Oh, no. A retainer? Oh, no, it's retainer a little box? too small for a retainer. Uh, it must be a box. So this box is for when your teeth are coming out oh. and making space for the new one. Oh, yeah. We'll go ahead and take the tape. Yay! 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 Okay. We have some floss in here for you. Little um Floss picks that makes it a little bit easier to floss. And then we have some chapstick, because I know you can get a little chap behind your mask. Oh, yeah. Especially behind those masks. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Yes. And All right. That's what we have for you today. All right. Can we give us a hand? And each one of you is going to get your bag and your way out. Right, Dr. Vick? Yes. All right. Thank you, Dr. Colleen. We were so happy to have you. We are so happy Facebook. I know you learn a lot. You have any question for Dr. Colleen? No. You can go to Adonai Baptist Church website, ask the question, and she will answer you. Okay? I'm talking about my friend on Facebook. You guys are here. You have any question? Remember, she promised she's going to come back. Let's give her a good hand. And we love to say thank you, right? And we're going to say thank you, Dr. Colin. One, two, three, four. Thank you, Dr. Colin. We love you. We love you. I didn't hear that love. We love you. Yes, we do. All right, Dr. V. Are we, are we, are we together? One, two, three, four.